The 1990s in Serie A was a golden era for football, where the best players showcased their talents and star attractions adorned almost every team. Among the brilliant playmakers of that time, Rui Costa stood out as a rare gem, defining a decade that remains unforgettable for football enthusiasts. With his artistic style, slicked hair, and rolled down socks, he brought a refreshing sense of fun to the defensively disciplined Italian top flight. Nicknamed the Maestro, Rui Costa enjoyed a remarkable football career primarily with Benfica, Fiorentina, and AC Milan. Over 17 years in top flight football, he secured numerous trophies, including one Primera Liga title, one Taca de Portugal, one Serie A title, three Coppa Italiana, one UEFA Champions League, and one UEFA Super Cup. A Portuguese icon, he represented his country with 94 caps and 26 goals in international competitions, participating in three UEFA European Championships and one FIFA World Cup. Whether it was for Portugal, Benfica, AC Milan, or most famously Fiorentina, Rui Costa was the beautiful game personifier. A bold attacking presence in the famously defensive Serie A, the Portuguese playmaker did things most footballers could only dream of, skillfully gliding past defenders, finishing chances with a plum, or delivering pinpoint passes at pace. Rui Costa made teammates look good, opponents inferior, and at a time when Italian football dominated terrestrial broadcasting in the UK, made Calcio a better spectacle than it could have ever possibly hoped to be. Born in 1972, Rui Costa's journey in football began at the age of five when he was spotted by none other than Portugal's greatest hero, Eusebio, and was welcomed into the ranks of Benfica's youth system. Developing through the ranks, he gained notoriety as part of the Portuguese U20 World Cup winning team in 1991. Soon, he made his mark in Benfica's senior squad, displaying incredible ability to maneuver in tight spaces, outwit opponents, and create scoring opportunities. In 1994, Benfica were on the brink of bankruptcy and in desperate need for funds to stave off the unthinkable. Barcelona and Fiorentina emerged as the front runners to land the Portuguese, but Rui Costa resisted the overtures of Johan Kraff and the Camp Nou to take the less trodden path. It was a decision initially made out of loyalty to Benfica. Fiorentina offered the Lisbon Giants more money for their star man, but it wasn't the last time Rui Costa put the needs of the team ahead of himself. In 1994, Rui Costa joined Fiorentina, a club on the rise with notable signings such as Brian Laudrup, Francesco Baiano, and Gabriel Batistuta. Under the management of Claudio Ranieri, Costa emerged as one of the finest number 10s in Serie A, sharing the spotlight with the likes of Zinedine Zidane. His partnership with Batistuta was remarkable, driving Fiorentina's attack with flair and captivating the league. In 2001, Rui Costa's talent caught the attention of AC Milan, where he joined Filippo Inzaghi to form a formidable attacking duo. Although he faced comparisons with Zidane, Costa's passionate and spontaneous playing style endeared him to the Italian fans. However, the excitement of joining the prestigious club quickly turned sour as he suffered a setback on his Rosaneri debut, breaking his wrist. Unfortunately, this injury was the first of several that plagued his debut season at Milan, making it a challenging start for the gifted playmaker. Rui Costa was a vital part of AC Milan's successful Champions League campaign in 2003. One memorable performance came in the group stage when he shone brightly against Deportivo La Coruna at the Riazor Stadium, assisting all four goals in a 4-0 win that included a hat-trick for new attacking acolyte Filippo Inzaghi. In 2004, Rui Costa's contributions to AC Milan were finally rewarded with a Scudetto, the missing piece in his trophy cabinet. He marked the title-winning moment in style on the final day of the season against Brescia, scoring a delightful curling strike. It was a fitting farewell goal for the Diavolo, as it turned out to be his last goal for the club. In the summer of 1991, Rui Costa's impressive performances at Farfe caught the attention of Portugal under-21 coach Carlos Carroes, leading to his call-up for the World Youth Cup. His contribution provided vital as Portugal's under-20 national team secured victory in the World Youth Championship that year. His decisive penalty kick against Brazil in the final, securing the title on home soil, earned him a spot in a golden generation of Portuguese players. 
Throughout his senior career with the national team, Rui Costa played a crucial role during Portugal's more successful years. He helped the team reach the quarterfinals of UEFA Euro 1996, the semi-finals of Euro 2000, and the final of UEFA Euro 2004. Notably, Rui Costa's instrumental performance in Euro 2004, especially his stunning goal against England in the quarter-final at Estadio da Luz, showcased his impact on Portugal's journey to the final. However, the lasting image of his devastation after a 1-0 defeat to Greece in the final left a significant impression on the tournament. He also participated in the 2002 FIFA World Cup in Japan and South Korea, notably scoring the winning goal in Portugal's 4-0 victory over Poland. Despite his primary role as a provider, Rui Costa managed to score 26 goals in 94 appearances for Portugal, making him the country's 7th highest goalscorer and 8th highest capped player. In 2006, Rui Costa fulfilled his promise to return to Benfica, and though his best years were behind him, his presence was still radiant. He helped the team qualify for the Champions League before retiring at the end of the season, leaving behind a legacy of loyalty and artistry. On May 11, 2008, Rui Costa played his last match for Benfica against Vitória de Setúbal at Estadio da Luz. In a heartfelt moment, he was substituted in the 86th minute and received a standing ovation from the appreciative spectators. It was a touching farewell to a legendary player who had left an indelible mark on the club and its fans. Rui Costa's career cannot be qualified solely by numbers. It was his unique style and loyalty that set him apart. He was a classic number 10, typically occupying a creative role as an attacking midfielder behind the strikers. Yet, his versatility allowed him to excel as a deep-lying playmaker, a second striker, or even as a winger. And there you have it fans, the illustrious career of Rui Costa. Once a formidable contender for the Ballon d'Or, his brilliance on the pitch made him a worthy adversary to the very best. Even the great Pele recognised his talent, including him among the greatest players of the 20th century. A remarkable player who chose to put the team above all else, sacrificing personal glory for the collective success that he's often forgotten, and young people have to go through Wikipedia or YouTube to find out who he was. If you enjoyed learning about the remarkable career of Rui Costa, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more football content.